hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about the private routes okay so like private route or protected routes also we call it as so guys now uh, as you can see that like admin slash dashboard okay so we have directly accessed the dashboard until uh, and unless we have logged in okay so we are not logged in also that time also you can access this you can access the dashboard so we don't want like this to be so until unless you log in that time only you have to access your dashboard so guys let's create that private or a protected route for that so let's get back to our react application as simple guys let's get back over the app.js file and this is the admin route which we have created for our admin panel okay so let's give admin slash dashboard so this is the route admin which we are seeing over here and how is this dashboard is called if you want to know you have to see the part one where we have created a separate route for this where you can see in the routes folder routes.js file so over here you can see that dashboard profile so dashboard profile you can access like this okay so please watch out the part one then only you can understand this flow okay so let's close and now guys let's create a private route for this so let's create with the name called admin private route admin private route okay so copy this and create a file inside your src folder admin private route with the extension dot js perfect so let's include this at the top import admin private route from the current directory only it is okay so let's give dot and admin private route save it and now guys let's get back over here and this is the route for our admin dashboard let's comment this and copy this path and name and paste that that's it guys so now let's go to our admin private route and create the routes let's get back as simple guys we have to import our react first react from react and create a function so function with the name admin private route so let's copy this admin private route function open and close export default admin private route perfect so guys now we want to take all the things like this is the path right so path name and whatever the you send that props and all so which comes under there's a route.js we want to call all those things that means you have to send that rest over here dot 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 rest okay let's return and create a route inside this so route open and close so you need to use the route from your react router dom so route comma we need one more thing called redirect also from react router dom okay all set so over here guys first we need to take this rest so whatever that props and all title and all whatever you pass we have to check in that and now over here you will write a render function to render all its component and data render is equal to so first props and location also will take where pass the function and give the condition over here if it's login means it should show logged in else it should redirect to login page so wait for that let's uh, simply create one local storage local storage where get item of your authenticated token if it's available then you are going to login open and close bracket where inside this you are going inside your master route so as you have went over here right so this master props let's copy this copy and paste so let's remove this extra thing colon open and close 
now over here you need to redirect so let's use redirect where you will tell to is equal to where first you are going to create the path path name colon slash login comma and your state state from colon your location so copy this location and send it over here perfect so let me just close this space and this space okay save and now guys let's get this thing so let us see that what's this error master layout is not defined you have used this master so import that master over here import master layout from the path so my master layout inside the layouts admin and inside that master layout so let's type dot forward slash layouts admin slash master layout save refresh okay so it's telling to it's redirected to login page because we have written that condition over here whenever you try to access that it should redirect to login page so let's log in once again admin slash dashboard hit enter you can see it's redirecting login page so guys now let's log in so let's go to our local storage and see that auth token generates over here after login three four five six seven eight click login perfect so logged in successfully guys and now you can go to your slash admin dashboard and you will be able to access perfect so guys now this is not the one correct way because if someone tries to change it and whatever goes wrong over here then he can see all these things right so guys for that you need to create a api check check login okay so let's get back instead of this auth token we will use something else so let's begin with that so let's come over here first you need to create an api so i have already created that guys you can see in my api.php file where i have created a simple route inside the auth sanctum so this is the laravel api application guys so here i am telling created checking authenticated or not okay so this authentication we have to check if it is working means then you can access the dashboard so you are in so guys, let's copy this and create a path for it so first let's type axios so axios is imported guys now axios dot where you will tell get so get function then response where inside this api so give a back tick and paste that just add api forward slash all set and now whatever the response come over here you need to check that first so we cannot use directly this because it will start loading again and again so for that guys you have to use use effect something called in react so let's tell use effect and we don't we are not passing any input so let's clean up that and inside this effect you are going to send that your axios request and let's write a condition over here if so this response response dot status is triple equal to 200 200 then you are going to set something called authentication okay so for this place you are going to create called authenticated okay so for that guys uh, first let's create that over here so it will tell use state okay so authenticated and this initialization will be your first will be false so when it sees means it should be false and this set authentication will make it to true whenever if it's checking the correct api you have to make it to true that's it 
now and if it goes wrong you have to set it to false so let's copy and this one will make it to false authenticated one save and now guys this variable authenticated you are going to place at this place okay let's save get back and use state is not defined use effect is not defined let's define that so inside react open and close use state comma use effect refresh okay so you can see that it's not set because we have already logged in okay so for that guys you need to log out once again and log in okay so let's click log out log dot successfully refresh let's clear all this let's log in once again funda at gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight click to login perfect logged in successfully okay let's go to our dashboard let's see what happens admin slash dashboard you are redirecting back why let's check in the network checking authenticated you are in okay but it's not let us to stay over there so let us see what the so the code is correct guys but why it's showing it's redirecting let us test once again let's refresh and let's go to admin slash dashboard hit enter so you're getting that again which means you're getting the output as correct i think it's not setting this so it's when you're getting this the output it's going directly redirecting to the login page so it's not setting it so let's make something like to stop this until and let's it's load set up this that time only it should show the output so for that guys we are going to set something called as loading so let's create one uh, state so let's copy and paste and this will be kit to true and authenticated as loading copy the set loading and set after this axios if condition which will be false so let's copy this loading and after your use effect just give if condition loading and return that okay so until unless it's executed correctly it should show loading only so once this is done it will you'll be able to find this authenticated set state okay so let's save and yep guys let's come back refresh so now let's call that admin slash dashboard so you can find loading is shown and it will start showing your dashboard perfect so it's not getting redirected to login or home page until and unless it's set so that was a simple error guys it was just not getting authenticated so for that we have made this loading so until it's set this that time only you can show the output perfect so guys now we are going to use the second method like what in case of you are not logged in and trying to access this dashboard so for that time also we need something to show that error okay so right now you have logged in and you are getting that checked in checking you are authenticated so it's working fine and you are inside the dashboard let's give backslash log out and you are logged out successfully okay guys so now let's access admin dashboard slash admin dashboard hit enter loading and it's you can see the output was let us see you can see that it's throwing an error called 401 unauthenticated because that url which we have set over here it's in authentication mode okay so that's why it's showing an error called unauthenticated so for this so let's create a logic to redirect to home page if it's unauthenticated so guys let's begin with that 
so after the use effect let's type that axios axios interceptor so let's type axios dot interceptors dot response okay response dot use function where inside this use function you are going to tell undefined defi which means it will check for 401 errors okay and create a simple function with the name axios retry interceptor so function where a x i o s retry interceptor okay function where you are going to pass the error so let me just arrange this and inside this err let me pass it so let's copy this error and check the output with that so for that let's use if condition if error dot response so response dot your status triple equal to 401 so this 401 is nothing but the output you are getting under this where is it checking authentication with showing unauthorized right so this will throw an error called 401 you can see on your console log it's shown over here 401 so let's so set over here so once it's setting that you have to show you should tell please redirect to home page uh, before that we'll set one sweet alert swal open and close if you are using import sys file or a class all set and let's send the message over here as unauthorized with the error error dot response dot data dot message and the icon which I want to show warning and let's use history dot push function to go on the home page like directly slash and when it's done let's return the promise promise dot reject function where the error you have shown okay cool all set guys this is for our 401 kind of error to show the output so if you're using history let's copy and create that const history is equal to use history function so make sure you are imported in your react router dom okay save now guys let's see the output for this let's refresh okay still showing for not one let's see on the network so let's get back and check why it's not error dot response dot status it is okay not state so make sure you are giving the correct spelling save and now let's try it once again refresh okay it's redirected guys perfect so let's see once again let's move to admin slash dashboard hit enter you can see it's going to you the method is shown as unauthorized because it's not accessible so we have done that validation also guys so yep guys we have successfully completed how to create a protected route or a private route in react js using laravel api authentication so guys, let's see next video how to create a roles and permissions in our uh, react js using the bearer token so let's continue next video guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share